Welcome back to the rig review and today I'm going to take a look at Artemis and if you check out Ramon's page you have the bundle if you want to separately or also a costume. This would actually be an awesome animation for the invisible people but uh, let's go back. Anyway here's the rig 20 pounds link in the description as always and it will also be on the animation buffet site with a link to Ramon's page and on animation buffet you can find all kinds of rigs and rig reviews so if you have any rigs that you want me to post here and you want me to review on my channel let me know feel free to email me and if you're on the channel feel free to browse around i have lectures i have acting analysis clips i have different rig reviews i have all kinds of things so if this is something you like feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss any uploads all right if you are familiar with the apollo rig this is fairly similar by fairly i mean pretty much the same and it's a great setup, so it's great to see that another rig is using the same setup. So that, as always, let's go one by one. The version that I got, I didn't pay for this. Full disclaimer, this was given to me for a review. I have only one option here, which is the geometry. So whatever you download will potentially look different. I also received underwear. Since this is a naked rig, I have the option here to hide certain areas. If you go down, you got your main controller here, uniform scale in the channel for that so if you use it like this it doesn't work it's in the channel you have a top spine control which you'll see in the back here on off you have a mid spine control on off as well this is the main control if you go one below this is your offset controller as well for any type of need so as always for anything like this i use it to bring it down for a different pivot in case you need to so that this character can fly around all right all right let's go to the feet down here, you have your foot control. So if I zoom out a bit, you can go back, bring this foot up and always do this test here. So when you do this, nothing is moving in terms of the knee, but you do have a pull vector that moves the knee around. On that controller, you do have a pin option, which I love so dearly. If you go back here, you have your ball roll. You got your toe heel in and out, toes, toes left and right, ball swivel, heel swivel, toe swivel foot squashed if you get closer here you can see so foot squash toe squash as of now it's not really working i can use this on both but that is just a pre-release version if you go back to apollo you can see this is what it's doing this is your foot squash this is your toe squash so when you download and buy it it is there stretch your limb is on i can grab this and pull it all the way down and you can say on or off selecting this in the back you can switch on bendies and these are these guys here. Actually, let me do this as a reference here. You can move these around here and here. You also have toe controls. So you can go in there and you can see besides the toe master here, you can see where you have some of the spreading and movement here. You have also controls here and so on. You can select these separately, of course. So toe controls, auto volume on off and IKFK. So turn this off. Now this turns into FK. So you can select this. And of course, it will move the leg like that and like that. It still retains knee options for bendies and movement and pinning. Let's go back to IK. Of course, this is on both sides, left and right. It's a leg. Then up here, you have this control on both sides, you can move things around for some reshaping. Moving on to the bigger controls, this is one big controller, which is the body controller. You can see also with the head selection, the head is not following. That's how it is here. Then in this box, you have the hips that move around with the pivot fairly at the top where the belly button is. So watch out for that pivot point. You can change the pivot point here so if i have this and i go all the way down to let's say four and i take this you can see now the pivot is different so that is a cool option to change selecting this again you have an offset control which is this one as you select it global space changes yes on off and as you get closer i uh, leave the underwear on you have a extra control of which i'm not going to show because of parental issues uh, you have an option I can show you maybe like this. There is a change in case you want to do something that is more for adult audiences. Going up here, you have here and here, you can see this. This is your breathing box, which was the same on Apollo. It's very, very cool. So as you do this, like the deformations on both of these are really, really cool. So you can see what it does. You can see the deformation with the rib cage. All of that is here, including this one. 
again, that you have here, but you can also scale if you want to. Now, my outfit is not scaled. This is just for me for review purposes. Going up, you have press control. So you have this to move around. You have size control, inflate, and also the nipple control. And that is for you to explore when you have that rig. When you select this here, this is your chest control. So you can move this around like such. You have rotations. You also have translates, and you can see what it does in terms of the deformations. It also gives you globe space, offset control again. So you can select this one, bring back to this offset control and offset top control as well. Let me just go back so it's not fully stretched. So when you select this here, so that is your additional box that can move the chest around. I'm a big fan of chest controls like this, where you don't have five or six spine controls, where you have crazy rotations and everything. This is very, very convenient in terms of movement and posing. I'm a big fan of that. Now you can go back here with the back controls that I activated before, and you still have movement like this. This is for your movement like this. And if you select the lower one, you can see with the pivot like that. Now, if you're wondering what's going on with the head, certain control is here. So you have the lower neck, moves it like this. You have the left and right sternum, so you can put this on for some tension there. Since the neck is so long, you do have an extra control to move it like this. And then you have the top head control to rotate as such. With this, again, just like with the other rig, I would have loved a translate so I can move that head around for some IK head movement. You do have size options. You also have squash and stretch options and global switches. So whenever you do anything like this, the change will be on the head orientation. Going to the side here, this will be your shoulder. You can rotate and you can translate in all areas here. This is currently in FK mode. So this is your classic arm movement. This is in one axis only, but you do have a scale option on that controller. Now, if you want to change all of this, click on this one or select it. IK, FK, and there you go. So now you have this option here and my favorite FK hands. So you have an IK arm, but the wrist is not a sticky FK wrist. And it's something that you can change through this controller. I'm a massive fan of this. So you don't constantly have to look at and counter the orientation of the wrist. I, something I wish every week had FK hand here. Stretchy limb, of course. So I can take this and then deactivate it if I want to. Now, as you turn on the IK arm, you got your pole vector like such, which also gives you a ping, the pin. And if you do this, you can also move this around as a bendy. Now bendy that is also here. Select this and you got both controls that give you this. And you have auto volume and space switching on that control as well. Going closer here, let's go to the fingers, just like with the feet here on the side, you have that for cupping and the other controller for this, for the base that you can turn on. You can also select these as with every week. You can move these separately, same with the thumb no extra control is here, but you are able to translate these out. Going up to the face, you have here a swallow control. This is the Adam's apple, but you can also use this as some form of swallowing, which is kind of neat. But if you get closer to this, what you have here is the lower part squash and stretch, which I'm a huge fan of. I wish every week had that as well. This is really great for specific lip syncing where you use squashing for specific shapes. They're also eating. Home, home, home. You can do that, of course. You select the lower part here. This is your chin. You got your rotations. You can move this around. You can also scale if you want to. Selecting the bigger controller, that is your jaw. Now you can open it like that. You can, of course, translate. Now getting closer to those extra controllers here, you have the overall bigger controller for the deformations. They're also awesome here. For a big smile, I love all this. You can really push this and break this, but for immediate shapes, the deformations on those rigs are really great for both of them. You can go in there for a small one and adjust little details for really a lot of bigger and small adjustments. So you can see the color changes give you small, bigger and biggest. Speaking of even bigger, you have this here for your rotations here, change that you can move this around. But also in here, you have the lip roll, puffing, pressing and squetch. And you can do this on both, of course. As you go up here, you have multiple controllers on the nose. So you have down here, you can move this around, you can translate this around, you can also scale this. Then you go here and you have a flare option like this that moves around a bigger chunk of the skin. You move this here and it's on the side for creases here. 
courses on both sides. Then you have the bigger nose control here. Yes, you can translate and scale and everything. And then you have smaller controls where the top ridge is not activated. Now, if you look here, here's another one. You can take this and it gives you kind of a middle squash and stretch and for a line deformation for your line of action there. Going closer, we have a controller here. This is for this area. Again, you can see really cool deformations. You can go here for the cheeks. You have that here, but you can go here. Let's go and see, show you that here. You can move that around. That is a secondary jaw controller. This is not a cheek puff, but you go up here and there you have a bigger move for that whole lower section. Then you go up here and that will move the upper section of the head. Going over here, you have different levels of ear control. You have this, which also moves part of the hair. And this is separate. And this is separate. Actually, it would be nice to be able to move the ear without the hair. It takes part of the chunk here. So whatever you buy, this might be different in the version that you get off the site. There is another controller here since we're up here. This is your top squash and stretch. Well, let's go to the eyes. You can see here there's a bigger eye controller here. So when you move this around, that is the eye socket, which also gives you in the channels blinking and also blink height. So if you close this, you can change where it goes. And getting closer to this, you have in here movement for the pupil, which you can scale. You have this one here that you can move around and you have an option in Z to bring this in or out. Of course, you can also scale it like this. Then you have access to this where you can close the lids like that. You have fine control like this. You have extra fine control like that. Of course, you have controllers here, the reshaped overall shape. And of course, you have that on top and bottom. Over here, you have more skin control. Over here, more skin control. And as we go up here, you have eyebrow here. You have eyebrow here, but then you also have separate smaller controllers, of course and even here, skin options, and here on the side as well. Lots of options on both eyes, but you can zoom out and you have your eye control. So move this around. So when you move it around, you can see it follows here. You have fleshy eyes off. So if you have moved this around, you can see it's just the eyeballs. The aim can be on off as well. And in here, you have separate controls for just one eye. Overall, very flexible and of course, very similar the Apollo Rake, they're both very, very well done. Now, speaking of facial features, if you don't want to do it like this, it comes with a studio library option here. So let me just expand this. So you have your face, your hands, and your mouth, just in case you want to do it like that with pre-built poses, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to move this off to the side so you can select this and go, Arr! oh, you can go, ah. And just like with the Apollo Rake, the setup is really great. The deformations are great. You can pose out things very quickly. Lots of options, lots of details in the face. And again, the deformations in the face are really, really cool. Just how you go back here and how it creates those creases. All that is really well done. Big, big fan of that rake. And after having posed out something with the face, you can see here as you select some of these, you're going to have extra options. Here you got translates. And when you select this one, you have a zip, the information depending on the pose here, and a puff on the cheeks. So you can take this controller and pull out that area. So whenever you have a selection on a controller, as always, make sure that you check out the channel controls because they will reveal all kinds of things. So go check out that rig, check out the other one and maybe get them as a bundle, totally up to you. That concludes the overview and walkthrough of the rig. Feel free to look at other reviews that I've done on my site. If this is something that you like, feel free to subscribe and hit that bell button. And if you have any rigs that you want me to look at and review and post, feel free to email me and I will take a look at it. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching.